Congratulations on your purchase of the Singulator 100. This video will guide you through the steps to properly set up the instrument and reagents. The Singulator is shipped in three boxes. The larger box, number one, contains the main instrument and accessories, while the smaller box, number two, includes the reagent chiller unit. Box number three is a cold package that contains the nuclei reagents. You will want around two feet of clear bench space and two electrical outlets available to install the system. Open the larger box number one and carefully remove each of the accessory boxes and components. These will include a Singulator 100 manual, an installation guide, a quick start guide, a box for accessories including six nuclei sample cartridges, four reagent bottle caps, a 250 milliliter bottle for waste, and a 250 milliliter bottle for water, both empty, a Microsoft Surface Pro tablet computer, a Bluetooth keyboard, and a power cord for the Singulator. Remove the remaining packing foam from box number one. Remove the Singulator from the shipping container. The instrument weighs around 30 pounds, so we recommend two people lift the instrument out of the box. Place on the lab bench. Remove the reagent chiller from box number two. Place on the bench next to the left side of the Singulator. Carefully remove the protective plastic cover from the Singulator. Carefully remove the protective plastic cover from the chiller unit. Remove the tablet computer from its box and slide into the tablet holder on the front of the Singulator from above. Make sure the tablet is oriented with the power supply button for the tablet on top. Connect the electrical plug for the tablet into the tablet power supply and connect the magnetic connector to the right side of the tablet. For US customers, the power cord plug is in the tablet box. For customers outside the US, the country-specific power supply is in box number one. Connect the tablet to the singulator with the USB cord into the USB slot on the right side of the tablet. Do not turn the tablet on yet. Connect the singulator power supply to the plug cord and then connect the white connector to the receptacle on the rear of the singulator. Connect the reagent chiller to the singulator with the thick cord and green connector to the rear of the singulator. Be sure there is enough clearance behind the singulator to allow for a secure connection. The chiller unit may include a small screwdriver that can optionally be used to securely attach the chiller unit cord, or you can request one from S2 Genomics or your distributor. Open the box for the USB keyboard. Remove the Bluetooth USB adapter from the keyboard box and insert in one of the USB slots on the front of the singulator. Turn on the keyboard and place next to or on top of the singulator. Plug the tablet computer and singulator into their electrical outlets. Turn on the singulator using the toggle switch on the rear of the instrument. Turn on the chiller unit using the toggle switch on the side of the chiller. Power on the tablet computer using the power button on top of the tablet. Open the accessories box, remove the waste bottle, and place on the front slot of the chiller unit. From the accessories box, remove the water bottle and place next to the waste bottle. Remove the four bottle cap assemblies from the accessories box and identify the one labeled waste. With gloves on to prevent contamination, Remove the waste bottle cap assembly from its sterile pouch. Remove the cap from the waste bottle and screw on the bottle cap assembly. Be sure that the lure lock connector coming out of the bottle cap assembly is red and place into the left side of the slot in front of the chiller unit. With gloves on to prevent contamination, fill the water bottle with DI or milliq grade water. Remove the water bottle cap assembly from its sterile pouch. Remove the cap from the water bottle and screw on the bottle cap assembly. Be sure that the lure lock connector coming out of the bottle cap assembly is blue and placed into the right side of the slot in front of the chiller unit. Between the reagent chiller and the singulator is the single shot mechanism for loading enzyme and buffer reagents for cell isolations. Behind the single shot mechanism 
There are four pieces of black tubing secured with tape to the side of the singulator. Remove the tape and identify the tubing with a red lure lock connector. Feed the connector through the black retainer loop on the side of the chiller unit, then through the two retainer loops on the front of the chiller unit, and finally, connect it to the matching lure lock connector from the waste bottle. You may need to move the chiller unit very close to the singulator to ensure the tubing can reach. Identify the tubing on the left side of the singulator with a blue lure lock connector. Feed this through the retainer loop on the right side of the chiller and then connect to the matching blue lure lock connector on the water bottle. Retrieve the nuclei isolation reagent and nuclei storage reagent from the cold package or refrigerator. Find the bottle cap assembly labeled NIR with the green tape and while wearing gloves to prevent contamination, replace the bottle cap for the NIR with the bottle cap assembly. Remove the lid of the chiller unit and place the bottle of NIR into the chiller. Connect the tubing labeled NIR with the green tape to the bottle cap assembly. There is a slot in the side of the chiller unit. Push the black tubing into the slot to prevent it from getting pinched when the chiller lid is replaced. Find the bottle cap assembly labeled NSR with the yellow tape and while wearing gloves to prevent contamination, replace the bottle cap for the NSR with the bottle cap assembly. Place the bottle of NSR into the chiller. Connect the tubing labeled NSR with the tape connector to the bottle cap assembly. There is a slot in the side of the chiller unit. Push the black tubing into the slot to prevent it from getting pinched when the chiller lid is replaced. Replace the chiller lid. The system is now fully set up and ready to operate.